Act 5, Scene 1, Cyprus, a street. Spoilers indeed, Sumio. Enter Iago and Rodrigo. Here's my Iago. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta make this a little bit better than here. There we go. Okay, here's Iago talking to Rodrigo. Here, stand behind this bulk. Straight will he come. Wear thy good rapier bear and put it home. Quick, quick, fear nothing. I'll be at thy elbow. <laughs> it makes us, or it mars us. Think on that. And fix most firm thy resolution. Here's Rodrigo. Be near at hand, I may miscarry in t Here at thy hand. Be bold and take thy stand. Iago retires to the dis a little distance. Here's Riago, uh, Rodrigo to himself. I have no great devotion to the deed, and yet he hath given me satisfying reasons. Tis but a man gone. <sighs> Fourth, my sword. He dies. Rodrigo goes to his stand. I have rubbed this young quat almost to the sense, and he grows angry. Now, whether he kill Cassio, or Cassio kill him, or each do kill the other, every way makes my gain. Live, Rodrigo. <laughs> he calls me to a restitution large of gold and jewels that I bobbed from him as gifts to Desdemona. It must not be. Hmm. If Cassio do remain, he hath a daily beauty in his life that makes me ugly. And besides, the moor may unfold me to him. There I stand in much peril. Mm. No. He must die. But so, I hear him coming. Enter Cassio. I know his gate. Tis he. Villain, thou diest! Rushes out and makes a pass at Cassio. Rodrigo. Whoo! Cassio. Cassio uh, obviously dodged it. Rodrigo's not very good with a sword. <laughs> Cassio goes, Here's Cassio. That thrust had been mine enemy indeed. But that my coat is better than thou knowest. I will make proof of thine. He draws and wounds Rodrigo. Oh! Oh! I am slain. <laughs> Iago rushes from his post. Cuts Cassio from behind the leg and exits. Star! I am maimed forever. Help ho! Murder! Murder! Ugh. Cassio falls. Enter Othello. The voice of Cassio. Iago keeps his word. Back to Rodrigo. Oh, villain that I am! It is even so. Oh, help ho! Light! A surgeon! "'Tis he, O oh, brave Iago, honest and just, that hast such noble sense of thy friend's wrong. Thou teachest me, minion, your dear lies dead, and your unblessed fate hies. Strumpet, I come. Forth of my heart those charms thine eyes are blotted. Thy bed, lust-stained, shall with lust's blood be spotted.' Othello exits. Enter Lodovico and Graciano. Cass this is Cassio still on the ground. What? Ho! Oh! No watch! No passage! Murder! Murder! Here's Graciano. Tis some mischance! The cry is very direful! Oh, help! Here's Lodovico. Hark! Here's Rodrigo. Oh, wretched villain! Two or three groan! It is a very night! These may be counterfeits! Let's think it's unsafe to come in the cry without more help! Nobody come? Then I shall bleed to death! Enter Iago with a light. Hark! Here's one comes in his shirt with light and weapons! Who's there? This is Iago. Who's there? Whose noise is this that cries on murder? We do not know! Did not you hear a cry? 
Here, here, for heaven's sakes, help me! What's the matter? This is Othello's ancient, I ta as I take it. The same indeed, a very valiant fellow. What are you here that cry so grievously? Uh, Iago? Oh, I am spoiled, undone by villains. Give me some help. Oh, me, Lieutenant! What villains have done this? I think that one of them is hereabout and cannot make a way. <clears throat> huh. Oh, treacherous villain! Iago, Iago talks to uh, Ludovico and Graciano. What are you there? Come in and give... What are you there? Come and give some help! Oh! Help me here! That's one of them! Oh, murderous slave! Oh, villain! Iago stabs Rodrigo. <gasps> oh! Damned Iago! Oh, you inhumane dog! <laughs> Kill men in the dark! Kill men in the dark! Where be these bloody thieves? How silent is this town? Ho, oh, murder! Murder! What may you be? Are you good or evil? As you shall prove us, praise us! Signor Lodovico? He, sir! I cry you mercy. Here's Cassio, hurt by villains. Cassio! How is brother? My leg is cut in two. Mary, heaven forbid. Light, gentlemen, I'll bind it with my shirt. Enter Bianca. Mm. Give me a moment. Enter Bianca. What is the matter? Oh, who is that cry? <laughs> Jeep SMR. <laughs> anyway, who is that cried? Oh, my dear Cassio, my sweet Cassio. Oh, Cassio, Cassio, Cassio. That's Bianca. I gave her the sultry voice. Oh, notable strumpet. Cassio, may you suspect who they should be that have thus mangled you. No, no. Here's Graciano. I am sorry to find you thus. I have been to seek you. Lend me a garter. So, oh, for a chair to bear him easily hence. Alas, he faints. Oh, Cassio, Cassio, Cassio. Gentlemen all, I, I do suspect this trash to be a party to this injury. Patience a while, good Cassio. Come, come, lend me a light. Know we this face or no? Alas, my friend and my dear countryman, Rodrigo? No. <laughs> yes, sure. Oh, heaven, Rodrigo. What? Of Venice? That's a Graciano. Even he, sir. Did you know him? Know him? Uh, I. Signor Graciano? I cry you gentle pardon. These bloody accidents must excuse my manners that so neglected you. I am glad to see you. How do you, Cassio? Oh, a chair! A chair! Roderigo. He, he, tis he. A chair is brought in. Oh, that's well said. The chair. Some good man, bear him carefully from hence. I'll fetch the general surgeon. And uh, now Iago says this to Bianca. For you, mistress, save you your labor. He that lies slain here, Cassio, was my dear friend. What malice was between you? This is Cassio. None in the world, nor do I know the man. Iago says it to Bianco. To, to Bianca. What? Look you pale? Oh, B 
bear him out of the air. Stay you, good gentlemen. Look you, pale mist. Look you, pale mistress. Cassian and Rodrigo are, are borne off. Do you perceive the ghastliness of her eye? Nay, if you stare, we shall hear more anon. Behold her well. I pray you, look upon her. Do you see, gentlemen? Nay, guiltless. Uh, nay, guiltiness will speak, though tongues were out of use. Enter Amelia. I give Amelia a sad British accent, but that's the best I can do to distinguish her character from the rest. Loss, what's the matter? What's the matter, husband? Cassio hath here been set on in the dark by Rodrigo, and fellows that are escaped. He's almost slain, and Rodrigo dead. Alas, good gentlemen, alas, good Cassio! This is the fruit of whoring! Prithee, Amelia, go, go know of Cassio, where he supped tonight. What do you shake that at? What do you shake at that? What? Do you shake at that? Bianca says this. He supped at my house, but I therefore shake not. Oh, did he so? I charge you, go with me. Fie, fie upon thee, strumpet! I am no strumpet, but of life as honest as you that thus abuse me, as I, fair up, fie upon thee! Kind gentlemen, let's go see poor Cassio dressed. Come, mistress, you must tell another tale. Amelia, run you to the citadel, and tell my lord and lady that hath happed, uh, what hath happed. Will you go on a four? Everyone leaves. Iago says this aside. This is the night that either makes me or fordoes me quite. <laughs> Scene two, Cyprus. A bedchamber in the castle. There's Demona in bed asleep, a light burning. It is a cause. This is Othello. It is the cause. My soul. Let me not name it to you, you chaste stars. It is the cause. Yet I'll not shed her blood, nor scar that whiter skin of hers than snow, and smooth as monumental alabaster. No. Yet she must die, else she'll betray more men. Put out the light, and then put out the light. I quench thee, thou flaming minister, I can again thy former light restore, should I repent me. But once put out thy light, thou cunningest pattern of excelling nature, I know not where is that Promethean heat that can thy light relume. When I have plucked thy rose, I cannot give it vital growth again, it must needs wither. I'll smell it on the tree. Othello kisses her. Oh, balmy breath that dost almost persuade justice to break her sword. <laughs> One more. One more. Be thus when thou art dead, and I will kill thee and love thee after. One more. And this, the last. So sweet was near so fatal, was ne'er so fatal. I must weep. <clears throat> but they are cruel tears. This sorrow's heavenly, it strikes where it doth love. She wakes. Who's there? Othello? I, Desdemona. Will you come to bed, my lord? 
Have you prayed tonight, Desdemona? Aye, my lord. If you bethink yourself of any crime, unreconciled as yet to heaven and grace, solicit for it straight. Alack, my lord, what may you mean by that? Well, do it and be brief. I will walk by. I would not kill thy unprepared spirit. No, heaven forfend. I would not kill thy soul. Talk you of killing? I, I do. Then heaven have mercy on me. Amen, with all my heart. If you say so, I will, I, I, if you say so, I hope you will not kill me. Hum! And yet I fear you, for you are fatal then when your eyes roll so. Why I should fear, I know not. Since guiltiness, I know not, but yet I feel I fear. Think on thy sins. They are loves I bear you. Aye, and for that thou diest. That death's unnatural that kills for loving. Alas, why gnaw you so your nether lip? Some bloody passion shakes your very frame. These are portents. But yet I hope, I hope, they do not point on me. Peace and be still. I will so. What's the matter? That handkerchief which I so loved and gave thee, thou gavest to Cassio. No! By my life and soul, send for the man and ask him. Sweet soul, take heed, take heed of perjury. Thou art on thy deathbed. Aye, but not yet to die. Yes, presently. Therefore confess thee freely of thy sin, for to deny each article with oath cannot remove nor choke the strong conception that I do groan withal. Thou art to die. Then, Lord, have mercy on me. I say amen. And have you mercy, too. I never did offend you in my life, never loved Cassio, but with such general warranty of heaven as I might love. I never gave him token. By heaven, I saw my handkerchief in his hand. O oh, purge woman, thou dost stone my heart and makest me call what I intend to do a murder, which I thought a sacrifice. I saw the handkerchief. He found it then. I never gave it to him. Send for him hither. Let him confess the truth. He hath confessed. <laughs> what? My lord. That he hath used thee. How? Unlawfully? Aye. He will not say so. No, his mouth is stopped. Honest Iago hath taken order for it. Oh, my fear interprets. What, is he dead? All oh, had all his hairs been lives. My great revenge had stomach for them all. Alas, he is betrayed, and I undone. Out, strumpet! Weepest thou for him to my face? Oh, banish me, my lord, but kill me not! Down, strumpet! Kill me tomorrow! Let me live tonight! Nay, you, if you strive, but half an hour! Being done, there is no pause! But while I say one prayer, it is too late! He smothers her. <laughs> From within, Amelia calls. My lord! My lord! What ho! My lord! My lord! What noise is this? Not dead? Not quite dead. I that am cruel and yet merciful. I, I will not have thee linger in thy pain so, so. What ho! My lord! My lord! Who's there? Oh, good my lord, I would speak a word with you. Yes, tis Amelia. By and by. She's dead. Tis like she comes to speak of Cassio's death. The noise was high. Ha! Uh -huh. 
No more moving? Tis... Ah, still... As the grave. Shall she come in? Were it good? I, th hey, uh, I, I think she stirs again. No. What's best to do? If she comes in, she'll sure speak to my wife. My wife. <laughs> my wife. What? Wife? I I have no wife. Oh, un unsupportable. Insupportable. Oh, a heavy hour. Methinks it should be now a huge eclipse of sun and moon, that, and that the affrighted globe should yawn at alteration. I do beseech you that I may speak with you, O oh good my lord. Oh, I had forgot thee. Oh, uh, come in, Amelia. Uh, soft by and by. Let me the curtains draw. Where art thou? Unlocks the door. Amelia enters. What's the matter with thee now? Oh, my good lord, yonder's foul murder's done. What now? But now, my lord. It is the very error of the moon. She comes more nearer earth than she was wont, and makes men mad. Cassio, my lord, hath killed a young Venetian called Rodrigo. Rodrigo killed? And Cassio killed? No, Cassio is not killed. Not Cassio killed. <laughs> then murder's out of tune, and sweet revenge grows harsh. Oh, falsely, falsely, oh, oh, no, no, this is, this is Desdemona. Oh, falsely, falsely murdered! Alas, what cry is that? That, that, what? Out, and alas, that was my lady's voice. Help, help, ho, help. Oh, lady, speak again, sweet Desdemona, sweet mistress, speak. A guiltless death. I die. Oh, who hath done this deed? Nobody. I myself. Farewell. Commend me to my kind lord. Oh. Farewell. Desdemona dies. Why? How should she be murdered? Alas. Who knows? You heard her say herself, it was not I. She said so. I must needs report the truth. She's like a liar, gone to burning hell. Twas I that killed her. Oh, the more angels she and you, the blacker devil! She turned to folly, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil! She was false as water. Thou art rash as fire to say that she was false. Oh, she was heavenly true. Cassio did top her. Ask thy husband else. Oh, I were damned beneath all depth and hell, but that I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity. Thy husband knew it all. My husband? Thy husband. That she was false to wedlock. I with Cassio. Nay, had she been true, if heaven would make me such another world of one entire and perfect chrysolite, I'd not have sold her for it. My husband. Ay, twas he that told me first. An honest man he is, and hates the slime that sticks on filthy deeds. My husband. What needs this iterance, woman? I say, thy husband! Oh, mistress, villainy hath made mocks with love. My husband say that she was false? He, woman, I say, thy husband, dost understand the word? My friend, thy husband, honest, honest Iago! 
he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a grain a day. He lies to the heart. She was too fond of her most filthy bargain. Ha! Ah. Do thy worst. This deed of thine is no more worthy heaven than thou wast worthy her. Peace, peace, you were best. Thou hast not half that power to do me harm, as I have to be hurt. O oh, gull, O oh, dolt, as ignorant as dirt. Thou hast done a deed. I care not for thy sword, I'll make thee known. Thou I not, thou, though I lost twenty lives. Help, help, ho, oh, help! The moor have killed my mistress. Murder, murder! Enter Monta. Enter Montano, Graciano, and Iago. Montano. What is the matter? Okay, yeah, that, I know it kind of brings a tune, but I gotta go with it. How now, General? Oh, are you come, Iago? You have done well. That men must lay their murders on your neck. This is Graciano. What is the matter? Disprove this villain if thou beest a man. He says thou toldest him that his wife was false. I know thou didst not. Thou art not such a villain. Speak, for my heart is full. I told him what I thought, and told no more. Then what he found himself was apt and true. But did you ever tell him she was false? I did. You told a lie! An odious, damned lie! Upon my soul, a lie, a wicked lie! She false with Cassio? Did you say with Cassio? With Cassio, mistress. Go to, charm your tongue. I will not charm my tongue, I am bound to speak. My mistress here lies murdered in her bed. Everyone sees uh, the dead Desdemona. Oh, heaven forfend! And your reports have set the murder on! Nay, stare not, masters, it is true indeed. Tis a strange truth, a monstrous act! Villainy, villainy, villainy! I think upon t I think I smelt, oh, villainy! I thought so then, I'll kill myself for grief! Oh, villainy, villainy! Let me, um, stop right here. Welcome Raiders, Mori raiding with a party of 15. Mori, thank you for the raid. Hello, welcome everybody. I am performing the final act of Othello. We are at an intense moment right now. So, welcome everybody, welcome. Mori, thank you for the raid. Uh. Wow, this is too wonderful. So I'm reading the end to Othello where I perform all the characters. Adverse, um... Adverse spirit esker as adverse. I'll say adverse. Adverse. Thank you for the follow. Yes, arson raid. Woo! Hey, Dixie here too. Hey, the whole family's here. <laughs> Ver. Oh, Vess. Vess, not verse. Vess. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Vess. Vess. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Welcome. Okay, hold on. Let me start over one more time again, so that you all can uh, just get a, a, a grasp of where um we are. So I will re redo. This scene right here. Okay, so Desdemona dies. And now Othello and Amelia are going to argue about this. Amelia is Desdemona's gentlewoman. So let me continue with this part. Sorry, folks. So we're going to read this part yet again. Here we go. Starting off of when Amelia and Desdemona has already died. Here's Othello. Why? I'm going to continue my performance now. Why? How should she be murdered? Here's Amelia. Please forgive, please forgive my poor British accent, but I had to make this character distinguishable. Here's Amelia. Alas, who knows? You heard her say herself, it was not I. She said so. I must needs report the truth. She's like a liar gone to burning hell. Twas I that killed her! Oh, the more angels she and you, the blacker devil! She turned to folly, and she was a whore. Thou dost belie her, and thou art a devil. She was false as water. Thou art rash as fire to say that she was false. Oh, she was heavenly true. Cassio did top her. Ask thy husband else, or I were damned beneath all depth in hell. 
but that I did proceed upon just grounds to this extremity. Thy husband knew it all. My husband? Thy husband. That she was false to wedlock? I, with Cassio. Nay, had she been true, if heaven would make me such another world of one entire and perfect chrysolite, I'd not have sold her for it. My husband. I twas he that told me first, an honest man he is, and hates the slime that sticks on filthy deeds. My husband. What needs this iterant woman? I say thy husband! O oh, mistress, villainy hath made mocks with love. My husband say that she was false? He, woman, I say thy husband. Dost understand the word? My friend, thy husband, honest, honest Iago. If he say so, may his pernicious soul rot half a grain a day. He lies to the heart. She was too fond of her most filthy bargain. Ha! Do thy worst. This deed of thine is no more worthy heaven than thou wast worthy her. Peace, you were best. Thou hast not half that power to do me harm as I have to be hurt, O gall o dolt. As ignorant as dirt, thou hast done a deed. I care not for thy sword. I'll make thee known, though I lost twenty lives. Help! Help, ho! Help! The Moor hath killed my mistress! Murder! Murder! Enter Montano, Graciano, and Iago. Here's Montano. What is the matter? How now, general? Oh, are you come, Iago? You have done well, that men must lay their murders on your neck. This is Graciano. What is the matter? Disprove this villain, if thou beest a man. He says thou toldest him that his wife was false. I know thou didst not. Thou art not such a villain. Speak, for my heart is full. Here is Iago. I use my natural voice to him to make him more endearing, but he's actually evil. Speak, for my heart is full. This is a response to Emilia. I told him what I thought, and told no more than what he found himself was apt and true. But did, did you ever tell him she was false? I did. You told a lie! An odious damned lie! Upon my soul a lie, a wicked lie! She false with Cassio. Did, did you say with Cassio? With Cassio, mistress. Go to, charm your tongue. I will not charm my tongue. I am bound to speak. My mistress here lies murdered in her bed. Everyone sees Desdemona dead on the bed. Oh, heavens forfend! And your, and your reports have set the murder on! Nay, stare not, masters. It is true indeed. Tis a strange truth. A monstrous act! Villainy, villainy, villainy! I think upon I think I smelt. Oh, villainy, I thought so. I'll kill myself for grief. Oh, villainy, villainy! What, are you mad? I charge you, get you home. Good gentlemen, let me have leave to speak. Tis proper I obey him, but not now. Perchance, Iago, I will ne'er go home. Othello, looking over his wife. Oh, oh. Othello's just grieving. Nay, lay thee down and roar, for thou hast killed the sweetest innocent that e'er did lift up eye. Oh, she was foul! I scarce did know you, uncle. There lies your niece, whose breath indeed these hands have newly stopped. I know this act shows horrible and grim. Is Graciano. Oh, Graciano's the uncle. So I'm going to give him an older voice. Poor Desdemona! I am glad thy father's dead. Thy match was mortal to him, and pure grief shore his old thread in twain. Did he live now, this sight would make him to a desperate turn. Yea, curse his better angel from his side, and fall to reprobance. Tis pitiful. But yet Iago knows that she with Cassio hath the act of shame a thousand times committed. 
Cassio confessed it, and she did gratify his amorous works with that recognizance and pledge of love which I first gave her. I saw it in his hand. It was a handkerchief, an antique token my father gave my mother. Oh, heaven! Oh, heavenly powers! Come, hold your peace. Twill out, twill out, I peace. No, I will speak as liberal as the north. Let heaven and men and devils, let them all, all, all cry shame against me. Yet I'll speak. Be wise and get you home. I will not. Ah! Iago stabs his wife. He stabs Amelia. Ah! Fie, your sword upon a woman. Oh, thou dull moor. That handkerchief thou speakest of I found by fortune and did give my husband. For often with a solemn earnestness, more than indeed belonged to such a trifle, he begged me, he begged of me to steal it. Villainous horror! She give it, Cassio. No, alas, I found it, and I did give it my husband. Filth, thou liest! By heaven, I do not, I do not, gentlemen. O oh, murderous coxcomb, what should such a fool do with so good a wife? Are there not stones in heaven, but what serve for thunder? Precious villain! Ah! Iago stabs Amelia again. Yeah! And then he runs out. The woman falls! Sure, he hath killed his wife! I, I, uh, lay me beside my mistress's side. He's gone, but his wife killed. <laughs> Tis a notorious villain, this Montanel. Take you this weapon, which I have here recovered from the moor. Come, guard the door without. Let him not pass, but kill him rather. I'll after that same villain, for tis a damned slave. Exit Montanel and Graciano. Here's Othello. I am not valiant neither. But every puny whis whipster gets my sword. But why should honor outlive honesty? Let it go all. What did thy song bode, lady? Hark, canst thou hear me? I will play the swan and die in music. Willow, willow, willow. More, she was chaste. She loved thee, cruel more. So come my soul to bliss as I speak true. So speaking as I think, I die. I die. Amelia dies. I have another weapon in this chamber. Ah. It is a sword of Spain, the ice book's temper. Oh, here it is. Uncle, I must come forth. Within, Graciano. If thou attempt it, it will cost thee dear. Thou hast no weapon, and perforce must suffer. Look in upon me, then, and speak with me. Or naked as I am, I will assault thee. Enter Graciano. What is the matter? Behold, I have a weapon. A better never it did uh, a better never did itself sustain upon a soldier's thigh. I have seen the day that with this little arm and this good sword I have made my way through more impediments than twenty times your stop. But oh vain boast, who can control his fate? Tis not so now. Be not afraid, though you do see me weaponed. Here is my journey's end. Here is my butt and very sea mark of my utmost sail. Do you go back dismayed? Eh, eh. To the lost fear, man but a rush against Othello's breasts, and he retires. Eh. The uh, Graciano kind of kind of flees, and he's just afraid. 
Where should Othello go? Now, how dost thou look now, O ill-starred wench? Pale as thy smock. When we shall meet at Compt, this look of thine will hurl my soul from heaven, and fiends will snatch at it. Cold, cold, my girl, even like thy chastity. O oh, cursed, cursed slave. Whip me, ye devils, from the possession of this heavenly sight. Blow me about in winds, roast me in sulfur, wash me in steep down gulfs of liquid fire. Ah, oh, Desdemona. Dead. Desdemon Dead! <sighs> Enter Lodovico Montano Cassio, carried in a chair, and officers with Iago prisoner. Here is Lodovico. Where is this rash and most unfortunate man? That's he that was Othello. Here I am. Where is that viper? Bring the villain forth. I look down towards his feet, but that's a fable. If that thou beest a devil, I cannot kill thee. <laughs> uh, he tries. He he, he takes a, a jab at Iago, but just wounds him. Wrench his sword from him. They uh, take the sword away from Othello. Here's Iago. <laughs> I bleed, sir. <laughs> But not killed. I am not sorry, neither. I'd have thee live, for in my sense tis happiness to die. O oh, thou Othello, that went, that wert once so good, fallen in the practice of a damned slave, what shall he, what shall be said to thee? Why, anything. An honorable murderer, if you will. For naught did I in hate, but all in honor. This wretch hath part confessed his villainy. Did you and he consent in Cassio's death? Aye. Dear... Oh, this is Cassio. Dear General, I never gave you cause. I do believe it, and I ask your pardon. Will you, I pray, demand that demi-devil why he hath thus ensnared my soul and body? Here's Iago. <laughs> demand me nothing. What you know, you know. From this time forth, I never will speak word. Here's Lodovico. What? Not to pray? Torments will ope your lips. Well, thou dost best. Sir, you shall understand what hath befallen, which, as I think, you know not. Here is a letter found in the pocket of the slain Rodrigo, and here another. The one of them imports the death of Cassio to be undertook by Rodrigo. Oh, villain. Most hell, most heathenish, and most gross. Now here's another discontented paper found in his pocket, and this, it seems, Rodrigo meant to have sent this damned villain, but that belike Iago in the interim came in the, and satisfied him. Oh, the pernicious caitiff. How came you, Cassio, by that handkerchief that was my wife's? I found it in my chamber. And he himself confessed, but even now, that there he dropped it for a special purpose, special purpose, which wrought to his desire. Oh, fool, fool, fool! There is besides in Rodrigo's letter how he upbraids Iago, that he made him brave me upon the watch, where it, whereon it came that I was cast. And even but now he spake, after long seeming dead, Iago hurt him. Iago set him on. 
You must forsake this room and go with us. Your power and your command is taken off, and Cassio rules in Cyprus. For this slave, if there be any cunning cruelty that can torment him much and hold him long, it shall be his. You shall close prison arrest till that the nature of your fault be known to the Venetian state. Come, bring away. Soft you. A word or two before you go. I have done the state some service, and they know it. No more of that. I pray you, in your letters, when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am. Nothing extenuate, nor set down aught in malice. Then you must speak of one that loved not wisely, but too well, of one not easily jealous, but being wrought, perplexed in the extreme, of one whose hand, like the base Judean, uh, Judean threw a pearl away, richer than all his tribe, of one whose subdued eyes, albeit unused to the melting mood, dropped tears as fast as the Arabian trees, their medicinal gum, set you down this, and say besides, that in Aleppo once, where a malignant and a turbaned Turk beat a Venetian and a, tra and a traduced the state, I took by the throat the circumcised dog, and smote him thus. Othello stabs himself. Oh, bloody period! Oh, that spoke is marred! I kissed thee ere I killed thee. No way but this, killing myself to die upon a kiss. <sighs> Falling upon Desdemona, a fellow dies. This is Cassio. This did I fear. But I thought he had no weapon, for he was a great of heart. Lodovico. O oh, Spartan, he says this to Iago. O oh, Spartan dog, more fell than anguish, hunger or the sea. Look on the tragic loading of this bed. This is thy work. Hmm. Hmm, hmm. That's Iago, he's just going, hmm. The object poised in sight, it, let it be hid. Graciano, keep the house and seize upon the fortunes of the moor, for, the, for they succeed on you. To you, Lord Governor, remains the censure of this hellish villain. The time, the place, the torture. Oh, enforce it. Myself will straight aboard, and to the state, this heavy act with heavy heart, relate. The end! <laughs>